There's a legendary video of you playing with Jeff Beck. We're actually watching it in the background now. So for people who don't know, Jeff is one of the greatest guitarists ever. Uh, so you were playing with him at the 2007 uh, Crossroads Festival. Mm -hmm. And people should definitely watch that video. You were killing it on the <laughs> on the bass. Look at that face. <laughs> uh, were you scared? What was that experience like? Were you nervous? You don't look nervous. Uh, look yeah. Confident. Yeah, I'm, I wasn't nervous. I I think that you can get an adrenaline rush before a stage, which is natural, but I think as soon as you bring fear to a bandstand, you're, you're like limiting yourself. You're kind of like walling yourself off from everyone else. If you're afraid, like what is there to be afraid of? That, that you must be afraid of making a mistake and therefore you're coming at it as like a perfectionist and you can't come at music that way or it's not going to be as expansive and vulnerable and true so no I was excited and passionate and having the having the best time and also you know the fact that he gave me this solo the context of this performance is that this was a guitar festival it's one of the biggest guitar festivals in the world because Eric Clapton's festival and there's like 400 guitarists that are all playing like solos all night and we were like towards the end of the night and I, I could tell like Jeff like got like a kick out of you know I'm I'm not gonna solo on like one of my most well-known songs Carlos Vendor and His Lovers well Stevie Wonder wrote it but it's the, uh, people know Jeff for that song and his solo on it it's like I'm gonna give it to my bass player and like and he did and like he the fact took that it he's like bowing and, like that 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 like, he didn't have to do that. But well, you really so, stepped up there. It just it just shows what a generous musician he is, and that's evident in his playing across the board. It is, he is a generous, loving, open musician. He's not there for himself. He's there for the music. And he thought, well, this would be the perfect musical thing to do.